Dr. Chuck Carr is an eminent wildlife conservationist in his own right. He just happens to be the eldest son of Dr. Archie Carr. Chuck? Thanks very much. And thanks to um, Vince for the invitation. And I want to say out front that it's an honor to be here with um, the friends of the Archie Carr Natural Wildlife Refuge. Um, it is said that uh, all politics is local, but I can tell you that a lot of conservation is local as well, and that uh, is a testament to your efforts here, watching over the refuge, speaking for the refuge, and making this whole package work as efficiently as it, as it does. I'm on the board of the Sea Turtle Conservancy, the STC, uh, and our, our director, Dave Godfrey, was unable to be here tonight. So let me say a few words in respect to the STC. We are, we're very pleased of our role with the uh, Environmental Learning Center, the uh, uh, Barrier Island Center here. Where I think that's our major contribution to day-to-day -day efforts here at the refuge. Um, but I wanted to just acknowledge the, the work of the uh, Friends of the Arctic Car and let you know that STC is very pleased to be associated with you and grateful to know that you're you're down here. You're able to address issues that the STC, for example, couldn't hope to do. But speaking of the, uh, the STC, we just had a board meeting at the Barrier Island Center last week. And you know how board meetings are. The, the leadership gets together periodically to examine the inner workings of the NGO. And I, can, and I hope this is reassuring to you. I can tell you STC is in very, very good shape, and we expect to be around for years to come, and therefore we hope that our relationship with you and the refuge can persist for the indefinite future. You know, I was in um, graduate school during the 70s when Doc Earhart was beginning his work on this coast, and then in the 80s I was caught up in the work of the Wildlife Conservation Society. I was in the international program of the WCS, which is based at the Bronx Zoo in New York. So I was made aware of Doc's work mostly through the glowing words of my father. And I was somewhat removed from the action down here for a good long period of time. And that was an interesting little evolution of events there. In due course, I, um, I joined the board of the STC. I then moved my WCS office from New York to Gainesville. During that same period, the Archie Carr Refuge was established, and the STC began having board meetings here at the refuge at the Barry Island Center. And that's when I and um, other members of the STC became very closely familiar with uh, Doc and his work and his history and his students. He would come to our board meetings and make reports in the, the annual work, and then, of course, lead us on the wonderful turtle treks out on the beach and then out on the Indian River to catch little turtles in the following, following day. And then, wisely, we awarded Lou Earhart the Archie Carr National Achievement Award. So, what I'm getting at here is, in my view, this, ref this refuge exists um, because of the vision and hard work of Dr. Lou Earhart. I'm proud it bears my father's name, but Doc made it happen. And this is an interesting little piece of history and sort of suggested by Annie Malin. My father had his own beach to work on, and that was Torchigaro in Costa Rica, and he began work there in the mid-1950s. And STC continues that work to this very day. It's a very, very vital program right to this day. And uh, Lou Earhart is a young man put himself in touch with Archie Carr to get to compare notes and get some guidance. And then, so armed, he led the charge to establish this protected area. And my father was very proud of it. So, it makes me feel very good to be here with you tonight on this special occasion. Thanks very much. Thank you, Chuck. That was much appreciated.